here we are, we made it to Colorado. We picked up Denise at the airport. We're heading into Eagle right now. And then after we hit Eagle, we got probably, what, uh, is it two hours from Eagle? Hour and a half. An hour and a half from Eagle to get into our camp. So we're heading up Elk Hunting. Uh, we got Denise and Richie. And I'll tell you what, we're going to wait for this trip for quite a while. We drew tags this year, so we're pretty excited. And, you know, I'm hoping things go well. They said the weather's going to be fairly nice for us up there, a little bit cool. Uh, cool at night. Uh, they said the elk are just starting to bugle, which is a good thing. Um, let's just wait and see what happens. So stick with us and we'll be in camp and we'll uh, introduce you to everybody. See ya. Peace out. Hey guys! Hey Nelson! Good, good to meet you, Ray. Good, good to you see you. Oh, good. good seeing you again. Good to see you. Josh. That's Josh. Josh, that'll be your guide. My guide. All right, yep. buddy. Hey, hey, we're looking forward. I tell you what. Nelson. It's good to meet you, Rich. Josh. Rich. Good to meet you, Rich. And of course, bet. my wife. I don't even met my wife. This is Denise. Good to meet you, Denise. So, anyway, the weather has cooled off a good bit. I mean, uh, the bulls are screaming Probably. the last five days. Well, I hope they don't stop now. <laughs> I know that. We just yeah, had a couple guys heading out, and they said they are hollering at them guys. They packed in on foot, and they shot a small one, I guess. And yeah. They're here seven days, and they had out. But yeah, we're. Yeah. This weather's nice, man. Oh. Yeah, they're screaming. We can't wait. They're I screaming. love it, man. Good. Scream all night, and we're gonna go chase them, aren't we, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> good, good deal. Good, good, good week. Good deal. So you've been out, you guys have been packing a few bowls out already I hear, huh? Yeah, we got, uh, actually yesterday we packed another 6x6 six six out. Okay. And a 5x5. Five five. We got two guided hunters down river right now, they're hunting this evening and you'll get to meet them tonight. Oh cool. Yeah. Okay. Missouri first. Oh, okay. We set some cameras up for the white spots over there. And yeah. It's about a day or so there, and then we took off from there. I think it was 18 hours. Yeah. Oh. Kitchen, guys. What a gorgeous place. Oh this is the goodness. dining room where everybody eats. You should put the food out here, cafeteria style, sit wherever you want, get your own drinks. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Hi, how are you? This is my wife, Mary, here. This is my wife, Denise. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What a nice place you guys got here, man. This is gorgeous. All right, let's go get you situated in a cabin and go from there. Let's do it. All right, well, here we are. We're at Budge's camp. Flinging a couple of arrows this morning. As you can see in the background here, they're packing our gear up and we're heading up in the mountains. Hopefully we'll be getting up here this afternoon. We can do a little scouting tonight and maybe Find do a little hunting tonight. So yeah. I'm going to shoot a couple of arrows here and make sure my bow is still shooting good and we're on our way. That'll work. Let's go kill some elk. Um, yeah, this is Eleanor. I'm going to bet going down around the bottom. Is it? Come on, Jack. Are you coming up with us too? Come on, Josh, turn around. <laughs> it's all right. You're all right. You're all right. Good boy. Good boy. Well, 
we made it up to camp today. Uh, we got the camp all set up. Uh, tell you what, it's beautiful country up here. Well, hey Josh, you are my guide. I am. I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to a great week with you, man. So, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it will be. So what's the plans we got going on here tonight? What do you think? And uh, hopefully this wind dies down a little bit. And we can hear some bugles or at least get a few cow calls out there and see if we can we get something to walk in on us for curiosity's sake or whatever. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let's see what happens. All right, well, let's let's go for it, man. Let's do it. Stop by Bunker Hill Chill and Grill in Burnham's, Michigan. They have great food, plenty of big screens to watch all your favorite sports, and an outside patio that seats over 80 people for all your entertainment needs. Whether it's work, play, or hunting, we trust our trucks to take us anywhere we need to go because they get serviced at Denoyer Chevrolet. Bring your truck in this fall and get it serviced at Denoyer. Nelson Steel Products, located in Holland, Michigan, has been a leader in the steel fabrication industry since 1945. Specializing in steel fabrication, robotic welding, and laser cutting, Nelson Steel Products brings years of experience to their clients. With strong client relations, innovative technology, and a reputation for quality, Nelson Steel has continued to grow in the industry and in your community. When it comes to finding the right partner, it stops at Nelson Steel Products. Visit NelsonSteelProducts.com to learn more. If it's made of steel, we'll make it. Hi everybody, Ray Coleman from Racks and Tracks TV. I'd like to just take a moment and thank Hunter Safety Systems for coming up with this design. They made this harness with pouches in it and everything else to hang your tree stands. I'll tell you what, it really works great. Also, don't forget to carry your lifeline with you and hang your lifelines. They're very important. They're called lifelines for a reason. Thank you very much, Hunter Safety Systems, for making my job easier.
we knew we were close the gap, we could actually smell him. Denise and myself was closing the gap on this beautiful bull. All of a sudden, he disappeared. Well, Denise and I were up here three years ago, the same mountain. Maybe a little bit later than this because it was dark when we went down this mountain. It's steep and rugged and it's tough. Uh, we got to make it back down there tonight. We're a long way from camp, so. No bugling today, a real quiet day, uh, hardly heard anything. We see one bull we got on this morning about uh, 8.30 this morning, a nice 5x5, five five, uh, 45 yards, but I couldn't get a shot. He was raking a tree, but never did get on him. He ended up vanishing, uh, but that was it all day long. So anyhow, long day, uh, day number three. And oh, today's number three, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, day number three. Um, we're heading back to camp, so we got a long walk ahead of us. So, one thing I learned about elk hunting. You spend a lot of hours in those binoculars. Make sure you have a good pair. What did you just say? Can we take I a said, knife with us? If I shoot a bull, I'm not taking my knife. Is leaving my knife is staying in Fat Albert. If we shoot a bull, I will walk back the two miles and get my knife to get that animal. That'll be six miles total. I will do it. Yes, ma'am. The knife stays here. Cheers to you. <laughs> and here he is with his lucky clothes. First time wearing them. But they're lucky. I've got my lucky, yep, I've got my lucky pants on and my lucky coat on. My scent lock stuff. So we're ready to kill some elk. Um, what are you forgetting? On my bowl, it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? We walked all the way to Fat Elbert this morning already. I was put a hike. No elk. Nothing bugling, nothing talking. Didn't hear anything yet. What you, what you thinking? Well, it's still windy, yeah. so I think our best bet is to just walk through slow through the timber and uh, we'll get on the other side of Fat Albert here, work the wind along the ridge. We've been seeing a big old herd of elk going up into that timber there, yep. so we'll work that timber and see if we can't bump into that herd and get some elk around us, see, see what we can do with that. Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a plan. Jack him, jack some blood. Skin out of bull. I like that. I like, I like that prediction. You like that prediction, Denise? I like the thought of eating back straps tonight. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's what I thought. <clears throat> That's the one I want to kill. That tree. Hey, hunting. Josh? What's the plans, my man? We hunted hard all week. 
Yesterday we put on, I don't know how many miles, maybe 15 miles probably, went way back into Fat Albert and covered a lot of ridges. A lot of, a lot of wind this trip. This morning we had rain, uh, we decided not to go out. It was nasty, windy, crappy, but tonight it sort of calmed down a little bit, but what's the plan? What are you thinking? Well, there's really been one spot where we've been seeing elk come out, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll, we'll set up there again, and uh, maybe, you know, this weather's moving the elk around, and we'll come down off the mountain again, down that, that valley, and uh, we'll just set up on them, and uh, see if we can't get them to bugle again. The wind's just, you know, it's just it's been messy. bad all week. It's been bad all yeah, week. Real bad. If it, if it, it seems if it calms down, we get into them. And once it's picked back up, they just go right in the timber and you don't ever see them. So hopefully they'll calm down and uh, they'll come down off the, out of the dark timber into the meadows and we'll get a crack at them. Okay, well, that's all we can do is give it a try. So let's get at it, boys. Let's do it. Let's get back here. We got a little bit of a walk to get to it and let's see if we can put ourselves in elk on the ground tonight. Sounds all right. pretty good, don't it? Sounds good. Right on. Let's go. High Low Builders have been in business since 1990, serving the Grand Rapids and surrounding area, specializing in custom homes, the remodel of existing homes, decks, pole barns, and light commercial projects. If you're thinking about doing any upgrades to your house, or adding any additions, or building a new home, get a hold of High Low Builders and let them take care of you. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. You get a chance, you need to check out ASCO's website. Get their product, use their sport wash, wash your clothes, spray it in this UV, you will be amazed. It makes you invisible. Cool. This is why this camp is named Ice Hole. This is a huge cave. If you can see it, it goes way down in there deep. And there's actually ice. There's actually ice down the bottom of that hole down there. And that cave goes way back in there. And then a neat big hole in the ground. Well, we've been walking for probably about a half hour, 45 minutes now. The area we're going to get into is way back around this mountain and back in. Uh, I've said this before many times on my TV show that you know, we've hunted our butts off all week, but I never count out from the last day. You never know that last day. I've killed lots of animals on my last night, so I'm hoping that this is going to happen tonight. So, let's go. Anticipation of what these guys look like 
is killing me. And their camera light is fading fast. finally stepped out, one within 55 yards, but Denise could not pick him up in the camera. Well, I guess that's the heartaches of trying to get the shot on film. Great way to end the last night. Going home without an elk, but we had a great time. All right, yeah. Got it. Heading down, hunt is over guys. The older I get, I realize it's not all about the kill as much as it is the journey and the good friends you meet along the way. Let's do it! It's going to be a pretty ride anyway. Yes it is. Might not be the warmest ride we ever rode on, but... It's going to be a pretty ride anyway. Yes, it is. Might not be the warmest ride we ever rode on, but... On the way down, you're always enjoying God's creation. But in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, was there something I should have done differently? God willing, there will be another season. Hey, Nelson. I want to thank you very much for inviting us up here. Uh, Denise and myself and Richie had a great time up here. Appreciate it. Good. You bet. You're thank welcome. You. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a little bit of a windy day up there. I mean, a couple windy days. A week. A week, yeah. yeah. But we've seen some nice elk. We had a great time. And we got a good guy here, Josh. Josh, I want to thank you very much, man, for taking us out in the wilderness and showing us everything you did. And we had a lot of fun. Yep. Got up on a couple of nice bulls. Uh, it just didn't work out. Stars didn't line up for us. So. Close calls, but no kill. Exactly. Huh? Hey, anybody wants any information on Budge's camp, go to our website, racksandtracks.net. It'll also be at the bottom of the screen. So you can get all the information you want on Budge's camp. Racks and Tracks is also sponsored by these fine products.